Alright guys, so today we're going to be installing a water cooling kit on top of a processor. Alright, we got the uh, XSPC Raystorm EX240 and we're throwing it on an i5-3570K and hoping for a solid 4.6 overclock. Alright, so the components you're going to need is a pump, a front mount, a back mount, a radiator, the tubes for the water, all the components, the screws, the nuts, the bolts, and all that. It came with two LED lights for it, so it's going to light up both uh, the pump and uh, the actual front mount are both going to light up. Uh, and then all those fans will be attached either on the outside or the inside, depending on how your build will handle it. And all these components came with the kit. Alright guys, so we made the decision to mount the radiator on the top of the inside of the case and then we're going to have two fans externally on top of it pulling air through the case. Alright, so now we're going to install the pump to the front of the case and we remove two bay doors in order to fit it. Okay, so now we're going to apply a thin layer of thermal paste over the heat spreader of the processor. And now we're going to apply the front cooler to the front of the processor. Okay, so once you have your pump your radiator and your front cooling plate on. You can then take all the tubes that came with your kit, cut them down to the proper size. Make sure you leave roof for slack because you can either take the pump out to fill it up with water frequently or every six months. Then you have to take your front tube, your end, your out tube is going to go up to your radiator and then that's going to go in your radiator and get cooled and then it's going to come out of the radiator and into the first part on your face plate and then the out part of your face plate is going to go back into your pump and that's going to cycle and cool down your whole system, hopefully. And there you have it, that is a water cooling system for your computer. Alright, once, you, uh, once you have all the tubes plugged in, you're going to want to pour water into the top of your pump, put in as much as the manual says, um, and then turn it on slowly as you work out all the air bubbles. Most of, if not all, the air bubbles are out of this one. You can't tell, but that water is moving, and it's silent if you can hear that, or probably cannot hear that. There you go, you can see some bubbles still in there. Uh, then we put in some LEDs around the actual cooling unit on the, on the CPU, so it looks pretty cool. And then if we come around the front over here, you can see there's an LED in there where we poured in the water. So, yeah, there's water in there. And there you have it guys, that's how you install it. Thanks for watching, go ahead and subscribe, you can comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.